I don't recall being assigned my own Chevrolet dealer, but I doubt they're going to be much help with my Toyota Prius. Well, if it's my Chevrolet dealer, I'm guessing this film isn't a guide to the wonders of public transit. Gale Storm? So it's just going to be a tour of Autopia's special woman driving space? It was the best ride she'd ever had. Know where the Lee Bonnell family of Hollywood is going? To get their names changed to the Gale Storm family since she gets top billing. American institution of going new places and doing new things. Or just hitting up Vegas for an eighth time. Vacation baggage is all packed and the family car is in tip-top shape. If you like all crap. Ready to go places. The Bonnells consider themselves experts on how to go places in the family car. Put them in a different vehicle and they're clueless. Being an expert is knowing how to get ready to go. Last vacation, this expert left the lawn sprinklers running. Well, yeah, it's not like the grass came with them. This expert forgot to leave a note for the milkman. Milkman, the man with the powers of milk. Where's those Fleischer cartoons? A checklist. The checklist makes it easy to know what to take. Of course, it also makes it easy to know what not to take. Save this for a bicycle safety short. With the family baggage all together, on display, anyone can do a good job of packing. The emotional baggage will seep up around the 15th hour stuck in the car with the family. When the things you'll want first are the last to be packed, they'll be easier to find. Matthew 2016. And here's a tip. One bag holding toilet articles, pajamas, and a change of light clothing for the entire family can save a lot of unpacking and repacking. With these three easy steps, you too can sing zippity doo dah out of your asshole. Your space is clear and unobstructed. But even so, blocking that door on the traffic side is a good safety precaution if you're traveling with children. There's a small cushion or two for sleepy heads, and to help stretch distances between stops, a jug of water, some cookies and dried fruit for between meal snacks without mess and bother. And a George Foreman grill for paninis on the road. And don't forget the espresso maker. Last item on the Bonnell's checklist, and a good idea for everyone, a spare key for the car safely tucked away in a magnetic container for emergency. I'm sure Lee and Gail love that you've told everyone how to break into their car now. Getting ready to go, a real expert seems to think of everything. Philip, are you sure you snapped the lock on the front door when you closed it? Yes, sir, Dad. It's locked. Uh-oh, I just remembered something. My purse. Where is it? It's on the dining room table. Okay, give me the keys. I'll go get it. Oh, you poor dumb fool. I hate to tell you this, but that's where all the house keys are. In my purse. Oh. Oh, Susanna. Fortunately, she has a plush taco from Squishable. The open road at last. Do you need a break from modern living? Three small boys with hidden talent for burglary. Next stop, the Lonely Mountain, where the boys will retrieve the Arkenstone. And who cares about schedules when they're vacation bound? Dad, can I have a real gun? Not until you're 12, son. But stepping on it is not the expert way to make up for lost time. The hell it isn't. Floor this baby. Hit the nitrous. Fewer the miles on a tank full of gas. Much of the time he thinks he is saving by extra speed may actually be spent in extra refueling stops. Speed is expensive. But heroin's on a discount. Car, driving costs increase rapidly as driving speeds go up. So take it easy, Pop. Go stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. You'll get there more economically, more safely, and probably just as soon if you drive at an efficient rate. A smooth three miles an hour will have you there in no time. Reasonable speed will let you cover more miles in a day, relaxed and comfortable. It's most efficient to drive in a bathrobe drinking a glass of Chardonnay. time by watching for ways to avoid business traffic in cities and towns. And now, Andy Rooney. And their trips to avoid rush hour traffic at morning, noon, and evening in large cities on their route. But they're from Hollywood, so the only time to avoid rush hour is 2.43 a.m. Time saver that works two ways. Whenever possible, combine all your requirements for service, such as gasoline, regular checks of oil, tires, and cooling system, in a single stop. But it's not a then food stop. you you have plenty of time to get refreshment, exercise, 
and local information on highway conditions. Yeah, so it turns out the highway's being swarmed by giant lizards. You might want to take Kawanga. Howdy, folks. Can I interest you in some boysenberries? Knowing how to get where you are going is one of the most important ways of saving time. But remember, it's so easy to get poor advice from people you just uh, happen to meet along the road. Yep, uh, down uh, that away. They brought in the ADR team from Manos. Uh, he thinks so. Hey, wait, uh, t'other way. I want it t'other way. Oh, well. Yeah, at least it's not like any horror movies begin this way. Confused. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. And I'm Javert. And I'm positive that old coot told us this was the shortcut to the main highway. I trust that poorly dubbed man with my life. I'll get out and see what it says. It says you should have bought a squirrel. No matter where you think you are. You are lost. Well, time to get ready for six seasons of mystery boxes. With a good map, highway navigation can be very simple. Next time you travel, try marking the route with two pencil lines and closing the highway. The arrows call attention to important information. Uh, of course, the library you borrowed this map from won't Some be thrilled. Use the map to make an ingenious guide list of route numbers and key mileages. Key mileage, starring Humphrey Bogart and Edward G. Robinson. Sections, each covering a map or a section of a map. Boy, before GPS was invented, I would have been dead in a ditch on my way to Baskin Robbins. Wheel, you can check off the route changes as you make them. Then you'll always know where you are and what to look for to keep you on the road. Well, if they had helpful signs the whole time, it wouldn't matter. A knowledge of direction often helps you get where you are going. Did you know that you can use your watch as a compass if the sun is shining? I can barely use my watch to tell time. Point the hour hand directly at the sun. Midway between the hour hand and 12 o'clock is approximately south. That's all there is to it. Oh, that's all. Just some casual road geometry. However, you'll find it pays to have a compass if you do a great deal of traveling in open country. It's not one of those ones that doesn't point north, is it? I refuse to go on another pirate adventure. When you're going places, knowing how to get ready to go and how to get where you're going are important. But knowing how to relax and have fun while you're going is most important of all. Just take a nap while you drive. A good driver becomes steadily more alert and more efficient during the first three or four hours behind the wheel. After four hours of driving, his efficiency usually begins to drop unless he knows how to relax. Unlike retail workers who thrive on working without breaks for eight hours at a time. Trust us, your employees love it. Hands in what the experts call the 10-20 position. Back then, the 10 and 2 theorists were laughed out of academia, but who's laughing now? Drive feeling more refreshed with your back straight and your head up than if you slouched behind the wheel. <sighs> now I gotta watch a posture and film too? Change in the position of the driver's seat also helps you stay comfortable and alert. Definitely fiddle with that constantly while driving. It's safe. Is Lee being weekend at Bernie'd? Cross-country travel can be a rewarding experience for the whole family. But there are times when young passengers need something besides scenery to keep them happy and occupied. So drug them. Here is a game that's fun for all. How far is it to that mountain ahead? Fun for all. The family guesses, and the closest guess scores a point. And lords it over his Many brothers. Familiar parlor games become more enjoyable because they're played in a parlor on wheels. Eh, best apartment I can afford. And guessing games and license plate games. Yes, the license plate game is no longer relegated to the parlor. You can actually play it in cars now. On any cross-country vacation trip, the real expert is the one who takes the time to discover America. Or just take credit for it like that Columbus hack. Meanwhile, in Treasure of the Sierra Madre... East or west, north or south. The awe-inspiring wonders of the Grand Canyon of the Colorado. Yeah, until Charlie Day tries to kill you. The spectacular beauty of Zion National Monument. Less mechanical than it looked in those Matrix films. Mighty Niagara. Slowly I turned. 
the sparkling waters of the Atlantic. Isn't that the bridge from the Truman Show? The historic Southland. We are completely lost. All these and a thousand more within your easy reach. Tributes to white supremacy everywhere. So wonderful. And aren't vacationers wonderful too? We're the boys. We've come hundreds of miles to see all of this. Why aren't they out here to enjoy it? Oh, they're back in the car planning next summer's vacation. They're reading a book. Reading a book? They should be playing their Game Boy. The title is How to Go to the Moon. But there's no footage of me on that Tomorrowland attraction, so who cares? Chevrolet reminds you to just get in the car and keep driving. Go, go on, drive like you've never driven before and don't look back. We'll radio you when the coast is clear. Oh, jam handy, where would the art of riffing be without you? Ha, ah, at long last, now we know how to go places. Although we were never taught how to get back. Which means endless vacation! We are forever trapped in the Poconos! I'd like to thank my travel buddies for watching the short with me on a couple of Patreon live streams. They helped me figure out how far it is to many mountains ahead. If you want to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge will get you in. And you don't even need to bring any baggage. Next week, we're going on a theme park adjacent vacation. In celebration of an upcoming adaptation of a certain attraction, we're doing an incredibly deep dive on every other adaptation of said attraction so far. It's so much. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ask a poorly dubbed hillbilly for directions, so until next time, this is Dave, signing off.